How's this, Mr. Corey? Just fine. Oh, no, I, I don't want any pay for it. Nice farm. Real nice. There's something about standing on your own land, working it. Knowing that you'll get out of it what you put into it. I guess the harder you work, the, the better the crops. That's the way it usually turns out. Sleeping good? Eating good and being with people? Being with people? You mean like town hall meetings? <laughs> We're having one tonight. Picnic, supper, games later on, things like that. Listen to me. Don't ever leave the land, boy. Always be a part of it. Part of the community. People looking at you, smiling at you, always being glad to see you. Uh, maybe I shouldn't ask, Mr. Corey, but... Are you a wagon train scout? Huh? Well, I mean... You don't often see people wearing buckskins in these parts. Well, I guess buckskins are just a habit with me now. I used to work with Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Guess I kind of got used to wearing them. You mean you knew Buffalo Bill? I was with him for four years. I mean, what did you do in the circus? Oh, uh, gun handling. Fancy shooting, mostly. Fancy shooting? Would you show me? All right, boy. Sit over there. That'll be the best seat in the house, right there. Now, around you is all types of people. They all came for the big show, right? And all of a sudden, the ringmaster comes in and he says, Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the fastest gun in the West, Chip Curry. And I'd come riding in with Coco over there. He slows down just enough to let me kind of slide off nice and easy. Then I give it one of these here. And all of a sudden, the crowd kind of comes for quiet. Then I start my tricks. Flat spins, all kinds of spins, little tricks to catch the eye, everything like this here. Kind of easing and all the way, doing flat spins and everything like that. And then, finally, to wind up with one of these. Then I start. The nice, easy trick. It's easy to me, but to the audience, it looks hard. Tin can, for instance. Start it off. Always catches the public's eye. And now for the big trick. Every act in the circus had a big trick to do. Something special that no one else could do. That's why Buffalo Bill hired me for this one. I want you to pay attention, boy. Take this nail. Make a mark. Right there. Take my knife. I'm going to put a bullet hole right in the middle of that mark. And then I'm going to put the knife right over the bullet hole. Now, for the last lesson. Hold it. There won't be any. You know, Impossible Shot suffers from one problem. Our pro shooters are so good, so talented, that sometimes they make this stuff look a little too easy. It's hard to have perspective on just how tough these shots are unless there's something to compare their shooting to. Well, that's what Master Gun Fighter Cisco is about to do as he puts his fast draw speed up against his throwing arm. My handle is Master Gunfighter. I kind of want to be a master at several different things, so I've got the bow at 50 yards, that's pretty good. I did the shotgun and uh, pistol combo last season. Now we got knives. Last season I did a, a shot for you guys with a knife from a guy named Chuck Staple. He came to me at a party and said, God, I love the show. And so as a present, he said, I'm gonna make you a throwing knife. So he made it and brought it to me. And right before I got it, your guy, Mike Beckett, I said, I've got an idea. Throw a knife and shoot the gun before the knife gets there. The fact is, Cisco has no idea how tough this shot will be. 
the shot will take flawless execution. His transition from throw to gun has to be fluid and fast. Well, the throw has to be consistent and stick every time because if I can beat the shot with the bullet and the knife doesn't stick, only half the shot's done. So what I'm doing is lining up, throwing the knife, and then as I release it, coming to the gun, drawing it, leveling it, and fanning it with the left hand. If there's any kind of pause or jerk, I may get a bad grab on the gun, or I may not get to it at all. That one was low. Yeah. That shot was just low, but your timing was really close. That's what I need to know. This is a spinoff of what you did with the bow. Only, I tend to think this one's harder because the, the distances are so much shorter. In the regards of speed, yeah, it is more difficult. But with the bow, we're talking about a 50 yard hip shot. But at 10 yards, Cisco doesn't have time to transition his aim from wood to steel. I need to know where that shot went. Right. Right also. You can't fix what you don't know, so I need to know exactly where the shot's going, because if I'm consistently, in this case, missing to the right between the steel plate and the piece of wood, I have to make a small adjustment here that doesn't affect the adjustment with the knife. I rarely change my focus from wood to steel. It just stays either right on the wood or somewhere in the middle. My theory is if I know where the target is, I can hit it whether I can see it or not. I've done a couple of shots blind because I know where the target is. So all I've got to do is put the shot there on target where I know the target's supposed to be. Right? Right. I can make that adjustment. I tell you what, I think you beat it. If that would have stuck, Everything I've shot is to the right. I have not missed a shot left. No. That really sounded like steel before the wood hit. We're good? We are good, Cisco. That was close. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Wow. I don't know. What do you think? Should we consult the video replay? And so we check and it's still hard to tell. My immediate thought was, did it, was it there on time? Because I'm looking or listening for ding, thunk. Ding of the target, thunk of the knife. And if I can't hear them together, then it's not gonna go. Do it one more time, because now I know exactly where the, the knife lands. Should be ding, thunk. You got it, brother. I'm 100% convinced. Finally, this is what we see. There's the bullet splatter, and then the final turn of the blade into the wood. Unbelievable. I'm ecstatic because I've been, this was one that I can train every day at home for just throwing a knife, but I can't put the shot out because I'm at, in my neighborhood. I felt like I had it in the back of my mind, but the proof's in the pudding. You've got to put it there on target and make it count. So um, I'm ecstatic. I mean. Every time I complete one of these shots, these are truly impossible till I get them done.